Howdy folks. So, I've recently got into the uh, whole energy efficient lighting craze. Um, however, it's been kind of challenging for me, at least at first, because most of the light bulbs in my house are this type, the E12 Edison screw candelabra base. Um, most of my light bulbs are like this, most of the fixtures are like this, and I'm not going to change all the fixtures in my house uh, just just to change the light bulbs. I think that's kind of dumb. And uh, I recently had a couple of these fail on me, so rather than buying more of them and they're becoming harder to find, I thought I'd go for some incandescents. So I originally bought one of those uh, LED filament bulbs, and uh, I got it. And I realized that I bought the wrong one. I bought an E14 base instead of an E12, so it didn't fit in, in any of my sockets. So uh, I tore that thing apart. Um, I didn't film that, unfortunately. I destroyed it, because uh, it was glass, obviously. And uh, anyway, lesson learned. Uh, I looked for the E12 base, the actual E12 base, and they're actually very expensive. They're like $20 each, um, which is not really justifiable. So. I said, well, I really don't care what they look like. Um, I mean, the fixtures aren't beautiful anyway. So I went out and I found this on eBay. These are probably the cheapest E12 base LED light bulbs uh, that I could find. Um, these were, I think, I got 10 of them for $28 Canadian. So work out how much they are per light. Um, these are North American 120 volt, but they do come in um, 240 volt as well. They come in both warm white and cool white. I ordered 10 warm white and they shipped me 6 warm white and 4 cool white. And that's why I've marked this one with a little blue uh, marking here. This is a cool white version, so uh, they screwed up there. I'm not too bummed out about it. I mean, I'll just mix and match them and probably I'll never notice. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd, you know, if I bought enough of them, I'm, I'm going to tear at least one of them apart. Uh, plus, they're plastic. They should come apart and go back together again. I just want to see what's inside of this uh, to know, you know, how safe the lights that I just bought are. Um, they look okay from the outside. So they're all just crimped around here, um, soldered on the bottom. Uh, they have this little sticker here. Uh, it's all plastic. There's uh, vent holes, five vent holes on the top, obviously for uh, allowing a little bit of convection to happen in here. This particular bulb has 24 uh, LEDs, so there are, are six strips with three each plus the six on the top. Uh, this one is rated at 5.5 watts. Um, I haven't actually tested the power consumption because I don't have an easy way to plug my meter into any of the sockets I've got. But uh, I'll update the video description at some point in the future uh, when I can do that. Um, I've looked at the light output of this compared to the incandescents, and given a nominal, you know, 100 watts per lumen or so, uh, I'd say they are not lying. It is probably somewhere around five, five and a half watts. So that's good. So to get this open, it just sort of pops apart, and getting the top out is a little bit, a little bit challenging. It's very, very tight fit. It's not a screw, but I find that twisting it sometimes helps. So there we go. So anyway, uh, I did break this when I opened it originally, so I got to resolder this back together. So anyway, there's two wires that just go into the base, and they're very, very flexible, very uh, silicone-y stranded wires. They actually feel quite nice. Um, so obviously we have a capacitive dropper here. Um, there's a big uh, 1.5 microfarad 250 volt um, dropper capacitor here. It's got a bleed resistor. We have a bridge rectifier, 4.7 microfarad at 400 volt smoothing capacitor, which claims that it's 105 degrees C rated. We have two 510 ohm um, resistors that are in uh, parallel. And then we just have everything else is wired in series. So rather than me talking about it, uh, I just drew it out. So the uh, power comes in. Uh, we have our bleed resistor across this particular uh, dropping capacitor. It is a single chip bridge rectifier. 
we have our smoothing capacitor, another bleed resistor across that, and then our two um, current limiting resistors in parallel, and the 24 LEDs are wired in series. So all in all, it's actually uh, not actually that bad construction given how cheap they were. Uh, when I bent the capacitor back and forth a couple times, I managed to snap one of the solder joints. So I just have to re-solder that. But other than that, um, I'm actually not uh, not too disappointed with the quality of this. I mean, it's actually quite well quite well soldered together. They've got tabs that go through the boards to align them. They've marked the positive and negative on all the boards, and they match up, which is kind of nice. So yeah, um, you know, I'd trust this with uh, with my house. Uh, I plugged this into a switch which had a dimmer on it. Uh, these are not dimmable, by the way, but I thought uh, I could just. You know, I've had other light bulbs, other LED bulbs, that you can just put them in a dimmer circuit. And as long as you have the dimmer at maximum, you're, you're totally fine. Um, but this dimmer was not having it. Uh, I plugged in uh, five of these, and the dimmer made all sorts of horrible buzzing noises, and the lights were flickering on and off. And um, So, of course, I, I removed it. I'm going to replace the dimmer switch with just a regular switch. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if that's just these bulbs or if it's that switch in particular doesn't like these highly reactive loads. I, I'm not really sure. I haven't used that particular dimmer with these bulbs before. I've used different brands of dimmer uh, with my other LED bulbs. But anyway, uh, just thought I'd, I'd show you the inside of a, a smaller light, an E12 base, because most of the stuff I see on, on YouTube is just uh, all the E27 base bulbs. So um, this is just a, a look inside something a little different. So hopefully that was, uh, that was useful. Thanks for watching.